Hello and welcome to the Crimson Stitchery, a video channel about making all things beautiful and useful. Today I have decided that I would like to knit a ream of fairy lights and this video tutorial will take you along with me. I have seen a knitted fairy lights window display uh, knitted decoration slash light sculpture before and it was part of a window display at a shop called Try Beyond in Richmond in southwest London last year and it was concocted and created by the wonderful Millie who is the shopkeeper and owner. And then recently um, over the last couple of weeks on Instagram a knitted light fairy light um, creation by Layla Raven has been doing the rounds and inspiring lots and lots of people in order to knit fairy lights. So of course I also wanted to have a go and I thought it would be a great way just to add a little bit of whimsy around the house. So I ordered a ream of uh, fairy lights just from the internet and this is a 20 meter long ream. Layla has posted some instructions on her Instagram post but it's it's pretty much cast on your stitches, knit your fairy lights and hey bingo, <laughs> plug it in and go. So I thought I would just you know film this process so that you guys can come along with me and sort of we can figure out if there are any trials or if there are any pitfalls um, that you need to be aware of. And so I bought the fairy lights, I bought quite a long string, 20 meters, I guess it's supposed to go around a room or a tree, and I'm gonna be using 15 millimeter knitting needles, just because that's what I happen to have on hand. I think that in Millie's um, window display, she actually used really large dowels, because it's more of a sort of prop set dressing kind of thing. Um, and on Layla's one, she said to use nine millimeter knitting needles, and I've got 15. Um, so that's quite different, but I've, like I said, I'm using what I've got. And um, I also figure that having an even larger needle will just kind of create even larger loops and stitches in the piece. So let's get started. For this project, you will need to know how to cast on, knit and purl. If you're a beginner knitter, it's worth practicing these basic stitches first using normal yarn and needles. So I'll start by just taking the cable ties off my ream of fairy lights and I'm basically going to leave it in a coil that it, it was sold to me in and I'm just finding the middle, so it's a centre pull ball um, and I'm just going to leave that there and just treat that like it was a ball of yarn and just keep pulling out from the middle. And one more thing I just want to point out that these are those kind of fairy lights where the wires are encased in plastic so just be careful um, that they're not actually kind of connected just with wire because that will be really rough on your hands. So now I've cast on 10 stitches onto my first needle, keeping the cast on as loose as possible. And you just want to make sure that you cast on an even number of stitches so that in the end you can divide it equally amongst the two needles for your display. So it looks pretty narrow at the moment, but the stitches will spread out as you knit into them. So let's work our first two rows and I'm going to work my first two rows in garter stitch which means that oh, I'm going to knit every stitch on the row for two rows. That's going to keep the piece lying flat and stop it from curling up. So that's my 
first row knitted. You can see it's just lots of loops. And the next row. Just make sure that when you do a loop, all of the strands of the wire are going across. You want to make sure that your needle doesn't get caught inside like that. Just like with any other yarn that you would work with actually. So that's my two rows of garter stitch. You can see that the stitches are already spreading right out down the needle. And now I've decided to keep going in stocking stitch. So I'm gonna do a row of pearls. Here is my finished piece and I've pretty much got to the end of the string of fairy lights there's just a few more and you just need to make sure that you keep enough slack by the plug so the last bit that I'm going to do is to just knit halfway um, so that I've got my final seam with my two needles Five stitches there and then just to finish it off I'll just stick my needle inside the last stitch just so that it can have that crossed look. That's my finished piece now. It does look quite curly because of the stocking stitch it is curling in but once it's up on the wall it will um, lay nice and flat so that's going to be fine.
So now I'm just going to do a bit of securing. I just grabbed a roll of washi tape, which just happened to be lying around, which is basically a decorated masking tape. And it just happens to be white with little gold foil dots. So I just thought that that would match in really nicely. So I'm just going to rip a bit of that off. Um, then on the back of the piece, I'm just going to put a bit of tape down. Let's just stop it falling off. You can't see it from the front. Great. So now I'm looking for a spot to hang my fairy lights and I've decided to go for my hallway because there is this convenient long strip of white wall above a set of plugs. So it's just going to go in this white space right here, um, probably a little bit above head level just so that it doesn't quite get in the way of things. Let me now get on with putting up some nails for this spot. this hallway gets quite a lot of traffic what I'm going to do is come back in with my little roll of washi tape that you know just happens to be gold and sparkly and I'm going to put some little spots of tape all around this knitted sculpture but also on the wire going down to the plug situation just to keep that a little bit more safe and secure. below if you're going to try this out and how it goes for you. If you've enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up, hit like down below and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already for more tutorials, vlogs and more updates on everything that I've been making here at the Crimson Stitchery. Take care, bye bye!